Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be playing an interesting brew I found online. Uh, so this deck, uh, it's a Jeskai Hero of Precinct 1 deck. Uh, this finished second place at the Star City Games Classic uh, this past weekend, um, piloted by Adam Martin. Um, so it's an interesting deck that I wanted to try out. Um, so basically, you're probably familiar with the Esper Tempo or Esper Hero list. You're basically looking to play Hero Precinct 1, uh, which then gets abused by a variety of multicolor spells. So whenever you cast a multicolor spell, uh, you get to create a 1 1 human creature. So this is very similar to uh, Young Pyromancer that you'd see in Modern. Um, so the rest of the deck is kind of like an Angels deck, Flyers Matter deck, um, playing into the cards. So the only other monocolored card, well actually there's quite a few when you look at it. Uh, so you have Tomic, uh, two of. Uh, so basically its ability shuts off uh, Nisa's ability uh, to create tokens. Uh, and they can't play cards from the graveyard. So not as relevant in this format, more relevant for like legacy, stuff like that. Um, but really it's to shut off Nisa, but even on the face level, it's a 2-2, two, two, so, sorry, it's a 2-mana, two 2-3 two, flyer, uh, which is pretty good stats for it. You have Lightning Stormkin, which is another flyer haste for 2-mana. Justice Strike is removal in uh, Boros colors. Uh, you have Imperium Eagle, sorry about that, um, which is an anthem for our flyers that also triggers Hero of Precinct 1. You have a Tajik, which can trigger Mentor. It also protects us, our creatures from like burn effects. Um, they can't be dealt non-combat damage. Uh, a couple feathers, which in this deck aren't really abusing the traditional feather uh, list where you're pumping up your creatures. It's really a 3 mana, 3, 4 flyer uh, that happens to trigger hero. Uh, three Teferis. I think that's wrong and we'll play four Teferis. Teferi is very good in this format, so let's play four. So we'll see like that. We'll play the fourth Teferi. Some Deafening Clarions as board wipes, um, if need be. Uh, we do have Anthem effects to make our stuff bigger. Uh, Shalai is another way to protect our creatures. Elite Guard Mage is a way for us to cycle cards. You see this in the Esper Tempo list as well. Uh, really is a way to pump up some creatures, Mentor as well, 2-5 body is a good blocker. And then Lyra kind of pairs with a number of our angels to pump them up again and give them lifelink. Uh, Depose Deploy is a way to create some more flyers but also trigger hero. Um, there is the feather interaction where we can tap our own feather if it's out and keep recycling this to draw cards. Uh, mana base is just a collection of duels. Of note, he didn't play any Scrylands, so it looks like he really wants to just curve out 1, 2, 3, 4 in this deck. Uh, sideboard, you have Tukatli Honor Guard versus like the Elemental Salt Eyeless. Aether Grest versus Green or Red stuff. Dovin's Veto versus more of the control matchups. Uh, Prison Realm as kind of catch all removal. War Boss when we need to go faster, so usually against like Nexus or something. Deputy is really good against Scape Shift. Uh, any kind of go wide strategies. Uh, Settle the Wreckage is a good catch up spell. As you can see in our mana base, it's pretty greedy, but there's a lot of greedy mana bases, especially with four color elementals becoming more popular. And Chandra is a good threat against control. I really don't know how good this deck is. Obviously, it was good enough to play second. Um, so we'll test it out. My concern is there's not as many creatures with relevant ETBs. Uh, we do have some hasters to threaten uh, Teferi on our opponent's side, but we'll give it a shot. We are starting out the new season, so we are back down to silver. So we will actually let's re-roll it just to see if we get a 750. We do, sweet. So we'll play this deck, see how it goes. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, I'm MTG Joe. Uh, we primarily play on YouTube for replay videos, but in the fall we'll be expanding to live streams on Twitch. Uh, play everything from budget builds, which kind of what the channel's become known for, uh, all the way up to tier 1 lists. 
Uh, if you do enjoy the content, the easiest way to support the channel is through subscribing. Um, it's free and easy. Also, if you are buying cards on TCG Player, I do have an affiliate link in the video description down below. Another way you can support the channel by do purchasing cards you'd already purchase. Uh, they do have 10% kickback right now as well, so it's a good time to pick up some cards. Uh, so I'll keep this. We go Hero into Stormkin, Stormkin. We also have Teferi. If this is Mono Red, Hero probably is not going to last that long. So this will bait out a spell. If they don't have an answer to it, then I'm quite happy. Hopefully here they just go like Chain Whirler. Okay, so they have the Shock. They might have either a Spectacle card here, like light up the stage. So struggling to hit lands here is a little annoying. They do have another six points of burn in hand. Okay, so that drew out at least three damage. The mono to fairy plan. Kinda unfortunate right now. We could bounce via Shino. But then it also just gets rid of Teferi. Um, I think we just do it as a tempo play. So we'll probably drop the feather next turn. So they'll go via Shino, they'll target Teferi. That soaks up two points of damage, plus the two from it attacking. Uh, so ideally want to save the hero for a turn we can double spell. They do have the advantage of bringing in Fry post board. Just try to soak up the most damage. They most likely have a burn spell. See if they have a follow up creature. Yeah, they just clear lands. So no attacks here. See if we could kind of stabilize now. Okay, so they hit the chain whirler. It does suck. Interesting, they're playing uh, this Glint Horn. Might be some new tech. Uh, in this matchup, Tokatli's pretty good, Prison Realm, Aether Gust. Proposed deploy is too slow. These Steamkins don't do a lot. Uh, probably get rid of those. I can bring in Settle. That allows us to catch up. They will get lands off it though. It's also Chandra. Deputy is an easy way to die. Chandra might be too slow, but we'll try it out. This is a good test for the deck to see how it fares against like the mono red matchup. Especially with this being the beginning of the season, there's probably a lot of people just grinding with mono red to rank up. So 
So Takatli on two is good. We have Feather on three. Tokatli shuts off like the Ashino, shuts off Chain Whirler, a number of effects. So that Firebrand. Clarion's a nice catch up spell too, especially if we have Feather or Aurelio to gain the lifelink. So that takes up their whole turn. Um, so we can go hero here, try to bait out another spell. They did mulligan. So that's another three damage. So we'll just go Feather here. Teely would like to draw another land to get Aurelia so we can start attacking with Vigilance. Elite Guard Mage also gains back some life. It's a couple games in a row we've stumbled on lands. So this is probably a light up the stage. What a fluky light up the stage. Perfect land into coil. Again, just missing lands. So there's the Viashino. So we hit the land. I think we get Aurelia going. It has Vigilance, so we could attack for four. And then the Guard Mages, well, we have six points of life gain in hand. If we build up a big enough board, we can also just use this for the life gain component. Waiting on the opponent. Your mono red, play quick. So they get rid of that. So I'm just gonna do this now. Wipes their board, they don't have a spell to respond. And we could gain four life off it. And then these don't die. So now they're playing pretty far behind where they're on a three turn clock. So sweet, took them down there. Um, I think we're probably okay running it back. Veto is probably too fringe. I don't want to be re like holding cards in hand. A lot of our spells are resulting in us tapping out. There's this deck I wanted to play, as well as the um, it's the Bant version. I don't think the audio is playing from the game.
That's weird. I gotta play around with that. Okay, so there we got audio. This hand's a little more awkward. I'm gonna mulligan. Okay, we'll keep this hand. I'm gonna put back the mountain. Scorch spitter. So we have realm into guard mage. They miss a line drop. Uh, I was gonna say that'd be pretty sweet if they missed a line drop. Ooh, we just need to get to that turn, Lyra. You are not an angel, so Aurelia is probably what we want to play. So hopefully they spend their turn just setting up light up the stage. here just gonna get rid of the Ashino keep the Clarion should get rid of Chain Whirler Let's see if they have a follow-up spell So I'm just going to Clarion here. That wipes out their board and we can play Lyra afterwards. So because they have the fry in hand, I'm going to play this out. It gains us the life. So here they're probably going to be incentivized to fry this. Whenever you discard a card, deals a damage. So here, I'm going to play it safe this turn in case they have another fry. I can protect it or just tuck this away. Does this deal to any target, to each opponent? So they have the Lava Runner. Uh, gonna kill this. I think we just do this to keep our life total high. And then drop Lyra, give this lifelink and all that. So they have the lava coil. Just drop Lyra here.
Do they have the skewer of the critics? Ah. A little too slow. It might have made sense to play Lyra earlier. Cool. Got a pack. Another Vivian. Run it back. This deck feels like it's got a lot of things it's trying to do at the same time. And the fact that a lot of your three drops died to like lightning bolt. Keep this. So this might be Bant Ramp. So we'll get them to minus this and then we'll Tajik into Teferi. Uh, they just go Prison Realm. Do you have a ton of Eagles? I think this is the deck I was looking to play next. Ah, oh, perfect. Kill it with Tajik. So if we could drop, start dropping some eagles, that'd be good. They just all pump each other. Uh, this deck doesn't play a board white main. It plays the finale, the white finale to make a bunch of tokens. So, looks like the opponent's trying to dig for lands. Uh, gains first strike till end of turn. So let's see if we could bait them. Probably okay just trading here. Because now these can fly over uninterrupted. It's probably Nisa. Clarion will be a good way to blow up their board after. Like they'll lose a bunch of lands if they overcommit. And then if we have our birds, it can block any of these temple gardens. They only have two forests, so it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they don't have enough to get both modes of the white finale. Next turn we can actually Clarion, wipe their board, gain the life, kill the Nisa, and uh, kind of really swing the game in our favor. Maybe mass manipulation and trancing melodies. It's a bit awkward. I 
I think they screwed up there, tapping it by mistake. So just talking to Nisa here. They will get a land, but if we draw like a Teferi or something, it'd be pretty sweet. Fortunately, they do get the creature. So there we took them off, two lands, two ramp creatures, and one of ours. It's probably a Hydra Crisis. X equals six. Nah. Flooding out a bit here. Do think it's important to get Nisa off the table, but we've fallen pretty far behind now. This deck not having Fry in the sideboard also is a weird decision. They hit us for nine. Okay, so we have Lyra. So if they're playing Furled Mystic, pretty much trumps us there. All right, so against this deck, Settle, Prison Realm, Aether Gust, Deputy, coming out. Feather doesn't do a lot. I don't like this Depose Deploy. I don't know why it's in the deck. It seems really fringe. Uh, I like the Flyers. Tajik, actually Tajik has haste. Probably the War Boss and Tajik. Just having the haste is relevant. This turns off. And get rid of Shalai's. War boss replicates the same. Two cards to cut. Probably just Aurelia. Mind you, Aurelia could block the elementals and pressure Nisa. Probably just the war boss. Cut down one eagle, go up Tajik for haste, run it back. I don't know, still trying to figure out this deck. There's elements to it, but I think Hydroid Crisis is really well situated with the ramp package. Keep this hand. Hero, and then Tomic could shut off uh, Nisa. Just get rid of that since we don't have the mana. So we got two turns to draw land for Teferi. Hopefully they missed the turn one land war elf. Come on, opponent. I think I'm going to put together that uh, four color elemental list that Saffron Olive and a couple people have been playing. It just seems like some of the reanimation or the uh, ETB effects you get are nuts in the deck. Not 
not sure if the opponent timed out, but they did miss the line drops. They're at 23 minutes, we're at 28, so they've used five more minutes of clock. Opponent might have got disconnected here. Did have arena crash on me yesterday. It was about half an hour into a video. Yeah, so they just call it quits on that one. We'll run it back. If they didn't have lions, I'm not sure why they kept. Uh, we will keep this hand. It's a little awkward. We're hoping to draw a land that can make these come into play untapped. So we can hit hero on two to fairy on three. I will lead with the island uh, planes. Uh, it's not the land we wanted. It's a little awkward. That gross spiral here. They might have Frilled Mystic, but we can Teferi it next turn. So, not being able to get down. Hero that turn kind of sucks. Now they have Nisa. So we can Teferi, but that forces them to go there. Probably just going to go Eagle here. Because next turn we can double Stormkin. Just try to go the aggro plan. I think we just try to race them. No blocks. Jeez. Oh, So taking down, this is like an incredibly awkward draw of lands. Probably bounce the eagle here. So I'm probably going to bounce the... The land with Teferi. Okay, that's not the worst. Our mana base is costing us this game. Just having to play, like, we couldn't play two spells there.
So just block like that. Next turn we to fairy. Why not? So I'm playing this because it can trade with the forest. Was a little aggressive for us to attack with deputy because now they can attack him with the elf. Let's take him off of mana there. So they're at x equals 4, so we can block it with the two eagles. That is good. It gives us another shot at finding something. Settles a nice card to have. We can get this to ferry off the board. So I'll double block the double block the crisis here. Kind of feel weak too. Like I like the guard mage. You really need like enter the battlefield relevant cards. Like we bounce their hydroid crisis, they draw an extra two cards, gain two life. They bounce our eagle, we just replay it and lose three mana of tempo in a turn. Nisa is a bit of an issue. So like prison realm. Eagle. Gotta be able to kill to fairy. So I can't block the hydroid crisis. So I have to block with deputy. It's the only way I can get settle off. It does kind of telegraph my play. But at the same time, if they only attack in with one thing, I can just just strike it. Because technically all they has to do is attack in with Hydroid Crisis. Girl Spiral's fine. They also can't interact. Guess Girl Spiral there is a free card with Nisa. Smash attack all. Smash attack all. One time smash attack all.
Go for it. Okay, so they were conscientious enough to not do it. I can block but dead regardless. So I do have to settle, unfortunately. They didn't go full fledge. Nisa's at seven, which makes it a bit difficult. I can bounce this, but they can just get rid of. Uh, I think we just have to do this. They will get another Nisa, but we're pretty much playing from behind. We have three blockers. If they attack with everything, they have us. But they might be scared off that last settle to swing in with everything. We're basically dead. So, block here, block here, block here. We do still need an answer for Lyra that's coming down, but that does take them off all their white mana, so they can't cast Lyra this turn. The ultimate's not really something they want to do next turn. Come on. Okay, Justice Strike is something. I can't even really attack profitably. Just pass the turn. This is awkward. Taking them off all their white, except Paradise Druid's nice. Really wanted to ferry. Play melody here. Let them attack in with both, and then we just to strike the forest. Do these enter tapped? Yeah. So they're completely off white mana. We've also, this deck lacks card advantage. Yeah, we're dead. All right, we'll give it one more shot with this deck. Do you think we wanna change some stuff? 
I had no desire to have these in here. The elite guard mage should be a four of. Justice strike should probably be a three of. Sacred foundry for cliff top. Get rid of these. Play big to fairy. Sideboard wise. We have enough creatures that they'll bring in removal, bring in another deputy, bring in another settle. Run it like that. See if this makes any difference. Sounds a lot better. I'm gonna put away one of the Stormkins. Because we're gonna go ideally a curve of this. Just a strike is nice to see too if this is like team or elementals. We want to get rid of a risen reef. So we got big to fairy. Chandra's triumph. All right. I'd like to see a land here for Elite Guard Mage that would likely draw us into a land for Teferi. Team or control. This could be team or reclamation. Haven't seen that for a while. Yep. Got all the answers. What else you got, opponent? I wanted to ferry to talk the wilderness reclamation. They've run out of cards, unless this is like. They don't have a search or anything like that. This variant probably wins with Chandra, hence the Chandra's Triumph. Do you have Nexus? Oh, they might have Expansion Explosion to refill their hand. That's likely the case. So now they're laughing. I 
I think we just... I think I'm just going to concede this one. I don't want to show that we have removal main. We didn't show him too much. Let's do prison realms, aether gusts, chandras, vetoes, deputies. Uh, get rid of justice strike. Get rid of eagle. Get rid of Aurelia. Probably Alira. Mind you, this variant's probably trying to win by dealing us damage. Get rid of Feather. Actually, Clarions are worse. Play the Feather. Get rid of the Feather. Try it like that. Let's try to go more aggro. Now we get punished for getting rid of the war boss. Haven't seen Teamer Nexus in quite some time. Uh, we'll keep this hand. Teferi's very good in this matchup. We can veto an early spell as well. Would like some early pressure, but. Being able to veto like an Escanta on two would be good. Just gonna go eagle here. I want to get value at a Teferi, and they might have brought in Fry. Okay, so we at least get Teferi value here. They bring in Spell Pierce, which would be quite unusual. Okay, they have Opt. I was going to say, they only saw creatures out of us to bring in Spell Pierce. Land, uh, more Teferis. So they get rid of Teferi here. Just play it out like this. If we need to, we can reset our deputy of detention. Yeah, we'll have to reset deputy. Or actually, we could bounce wilderness. Perfect. We have veto for the back end. Now we just attack in. They're basically down to one spell a turn. We'll veto the Wilderness Reclamation here. Okay. 
then we can Storm King and Eagle. Come on, opponent. In a pinch, if we get enough of a board state. Makes our board quite formidable. If they do get Reclamation down, what we can do is bounce Hero to our hand. They get the Chandra back, but we just kill it. But here they're just taking a turn to set up. And the thing too is they do have to kill this at sorcery speed, and then we just play our other Teferi. So the early concession last game was pretty good. We are unlikely to come back from them having a full grasp of eight. Uh, this is definitely a case where we get rid of search. Just really limit them to have answers. Even if they have big Chandra here, they sweep the board. It leaves us with enough for lethal. They need Star of Extinction. All right, so you get a turn. Do you have Nexus in hand? I'll be really annoyed if they have Nexus in hand. And then they just combo off on us. Okay, they don't. They might have the Root Snare. Okay, so they don't. Sweet, got him. Uh, still didn't see creatures, so we're fine. I think we just run it back here. Teferi is like the mirror breaker. Just everything they're trying to do in this deck gets kind of squashed. Opponent's probably dramatically sideboarding now. Come on. They go the Biogenic Ooze plan here. We don't have a clean answer the turn it comes down. We generally just have to race it at that point. Hopefully get a hero. Yeah, we'll keep this. Hero into Eagle and then Aether Gust away there. Uh, Wilderness Wreck. It's funny, I always try out all these decks, then I just go back to like Salt Eye Flush. Lead on the Foundry. We have uh, Untapped Blue Source. 
if needed. Be cool if they came out with the old art for the shock lens, like the originals. Alright, come on, buddy. Alright, we have enough lens deck. It's a fairy, be beautiful. Said deck, we have enough lens. Okay, so they use a fry there that's not on Teferi deck, enough lands. They're missing green, which is good for us. Oh my god, deck. So we have the Steamkin. Um, they haven't shown the Chandra. So I think we're okay to just go. Like if they have six mana Chandra, they do get to wipe our board. Actually, this is an elemental, so it won't. Okay, they grow spiral. Uh, they're still short the, the second green. Not a land, of course a land. They're spending their turn just beacon bolting. It's card disadvantage. Spies us a turn. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <sighs> now they beacon bolt this and they plus Chandra. Like, how many lands is this deck gonna draw? And they have Wilderness Rack. God, are you serious? T 12 lands, five non-creature spells. Um, slows them down a turn. This is very annoying. So here they're trying to hit their second green source. So if we get like a Haster, it can deal with the Chandra. This one's coming down anyways. Oh. 
Well, that was incredibly annoying. Uh, so, lost all three matches with the deck. There's definitely some room for growth. Trying to get the Omnath Pulse or look at the Ceratops. Um, that was very annoying. Um, overall, the deck, I think it's too cute. Green base decks are a lot more impactful right now, especially blue green, just the access of Hydroid Crisis. Like, you can take advantage of the, the mana excess a lot better, whereas this deck we were just flooding, there wasn't enough card draw on the deck, and you just have a lot of like low impact creatures. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy, and if you can, hit that subscribe button.